don't just stare at me. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Teresa, and in this video I'm going to show you how I made this mouse house book nook for my family. Like many of you, I saw the Diagon Alley book nook that was going around um, Pinterest and Facebook and stuff, and decided that I really wanted a little magic on my bookshelf too. But I don't trust my miniature making skills to actually make a Diagon Alley set. All of June, I was racking my brain trying to figure out what I could make. I had thought of making a little ballet studio. Um, I came really close to making a tiny library. But ultimately, I think I was driving around one day and I was thinking about my childhood and the things that I liked to do when I was little. I've always loved mice and I've always loved miniatures. So why not make a tiny little mouse house for my bookshelf that my kids can play with? And um, I actually had this box. Um, it was given to me in a gift set. So I have two of them. One's big and then there's this medium sized one perfect size so I didn't have to make like some fancy little wooden box to put in my bookshelf and I believe this um, cost around $10 like $9.99 or something. Uh, Tuesday morning is a good place to look um, for these kind of things but you know I've seen them at Joann's, I've seen them at Walmart. Um, you just have to keep your eye out and you can find a little cardboard big book if you want to make one yourself. Um, but this one is perfect because it says home is where your story begins. And then, I should have looked in here first. Um, and then you can open it up to a tiny little mouse house. So before I get started on that, I want to show you the bigger size one of these. So be right back. Okay, so this is the big size, which is obviously too big for my bookshelf. Um, but I was able to practice on this one. So I practiced cutting the door and the window. You can see on the inside I cut this part out because there's like a little hollow spot and I didn't know how thick stuff would be so it was really nice to have this and then I just taped it all up and my son is using it to store paper now but you know it works for us but I'm really glad I have this to practice on um oh oh my gosh can't believe I almost forgot this too I'm so prepared today when I realized I was getting out of control with this project and I needed more space, I had too many miniatures, there were too many things I wanted to do, um, and they're not all gonna fit in here and then slide back into my bookshelf. So I went up to Tuesday morning and I found this box, which I figured I could turn into a bedroom for the parents, but it could also be used to store things. So, what was this? This was $5.99, and I just, I slit the slide, I slit the sides and opened it up, Mod Podge some fabric down, and then lined it with popsicle sticks. And I can put all of the miniatures in here when we're not using it. And it just tucks away on the bookshelf, and nobody knows it's there. And, and because it's a bedroom and it says dream big, I thought that was really, really sweet. So that's that. All right, so I'm gonna do some close-ups and voiceovers and take you inside our little mouse house and to make the mice, I created their shape with pom-poms and pipe cleaners, and the ears are made out of white felt. Once I had the size I wanted, I began wrapping them in white embroidery floss. This takes a long time. I'd put on a show and just mindlessly wrap them. If you don't glue the ends of the hands and the feet, the embroidery floss will unravel, so I was sure to coat them with the hot glue. I also hot glued all of the loose ends down. To make their eyes, I used two black beads and I strung them onto my floss and tied the ends together, and hot glued the knot down and continued to wrap the ends around the mouse's head. Then I strung a pink bead for the nose. I tied it on and wrapped the ends, gluing them down.
I forgot to film this, but I used black embroidery floss and I tied it around the snout to create the whiskers. Once I was happy with him, I took the matte Mod Podge and covered the mouse from top to bottom. This gives him a slightly hard texture, but he's still poseable. The thread soaks up the Mod Podge really well, and this way he'll never unravel. I also coated the whiskers with Mod Podge, and I used a pin to separate them so they wouldn't dry in a gross clump. After they dried, I painted the inside of the ears light pink. Then I gave the boy mice felt bow ties, and they're tied on with embroidery floss and the knot is glued down in the back. For the girl mice, I used gathered lace trim from my stash to make the little dresses. I glued them in the back and I also hand stitched the dress together. And then there's Lou, good old peg leg Lou. His peg leg is made out of a little piece of stick with a piece of fake leather wrapped around it and glued down. Then there's embroidery floss wrapped around that as well. He has a pleather vest and I thought about giving him an eye patch, maybe in the future, we'll see. Well, here they are. They're all delightfully unique and full of character. Guys, I would love to break down every step of this project. Unfortunately, the video would be 20 hours long, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to tell you a couple of interesting things, like the fireplace is made out of hot glue. And everything is reinforced with popsicle sticks and craft sticks. There's almost a whole bottle of wood glue used, a half a tube of E6000, and maybe one long glue stick. I used a box knife to carve out the windows and the door, and I finished the edges with the craft popsicle sticks and twine. I glued velcro onto the door and on the door frame to keep the door closed. I used pleather for the door hinges and for the shutter hinges, and I put the pleather on the inside and on the outside. And the loft has fairy lights to charge the glow-in-the-dark stars. The other working lights were ordered from Amazon and they're powered by button batteries and they took about a month to come in. Here are the items that I purchased or I had in my craft stash. And here are the items that I made. If you've made it this far, leave me a comment saying that you watched it till the end. Um, and yeah, have a great week, month, year. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time.